Good morning, Virgos. A general reading for the sign of Virgos. My beautiful friends, welcome into my space. Um, the world does seem like a much smaller place um, here, does it not? All right, Virgos, let's go ahead and um, get um, your current energy for this group of Virgos. Uh, before I begin, I'm going to forego the general warnings that I usually give, but just remind everyone of the power that they have within them to change their destiny, um, the, the, the true beauty of their heart space, and the wonderful works that can be done um, when we connect in with our own personal um, spiritual teams. All right, let's go ahead and get started. What is the current energy for Virgo? What is the current energy for this particular group of Virgos? What is the current energy for this particular group of Virgos, please? What is the current energy for this particular group of Virgos? What is the current energy? What is the current energy for this particular group of Virgos? Page of Pentacles, Temperance Energy. Queen of Cups. Let's just see if there's anything else here. Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Wands. All right. What is the next incoming wave of energy that Virgo would be stepping into? What's the next incoming wave of energy that Virgo will be stepping into, please? What's the next incoming wave of energy? What is the next incoming wave of energy that Virgo will be stepping into? What's the next incoming wave of energy? What's the next incoming wave of energy? we have it. I think we have this story. All right. And what is the guidance for, what is this, two energies? Oh my gosh, interesting. What is the guidance for Virgo? What is the guidance for Virgo, please? What is the guidance for Virgo? What is the guidance for Virgo, please? Guidance for Virgo. The Wheel of Fortune flipped, but didn't come out. What is the guidance for Virgo, please? There we go. All right. Okay, let's see what's here. Give me a moment as I kind of get my bearings here. These are some really strong energies. I'm going to leave these just as they fell out. So what's currently happening, oh, here, let me get them straight for you. Why am I doing this? Interesting. It's almost like you're trying to get your bearings here. So um, and there is this mystery energy here that just fell in. Um, I only noticed it after I kind of moved the cards a little bit. Interesting. Okay, this is going to be fun, Virgo. This is going to be really fun. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles here. Um, and there's a little bit of energy here. When I said fun, that word had, like, there's a little, there's a few of you here, or maybe it's an element within each one of you of some sarcasticness. But um, you're seeing through that. I think in a way it's like this really interesting sense of humor um, that only this kind of thing could happen to you, Virgo. That is, all, like, it's... There's something that's just quite interesting about this. There's something, what is this? Five of Cups. There is something about this energy. It's quite passionate, quite beautiful. Um, but there is a very interesting sense of humor that I feel coming out of this, of this current energy. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles. So we have some sort of new indications of financial success. Doesn't have to be financial success, but it's new indications of something real, um, and improved coming in. So something is actually improving. It's something that you can touch, see, feel, or hear. Something that you can hold in your hands or you can, uh, maybe it's going out on a date. There's something here. Um, maybe some sales that you've made recently or if you're looking for a job, you could have found a new open position 
or you could have received some kind of message saying, we'd like to talk to you. We'd like to get to know you a little bit better. Um, it's, it's something that's giving you, it's something that you can see some kind of indication of improvement in whatever the situation is for you. And again, it's something real, something you can experience or see or hold. Um, the temperance energy is here, which is a Sagittarius energy. It is an energy of patience, of, compa of compassion, of understanding, um, but also the knowledge that whatever you're trying to do is going to take a little bit of, of complexity. It's going to take some um, merging of different elements within you, merging of different things. There's a little bit of a complexity here complexity, but, but it's something that you have patience with. You have a lot of compassion here and, and patience and understanding. Um, so what this tells me is you're able to stay balanced. You're, you're really working hard to stay balanced, um, in this, in this current energy. Um, the, there's a queen of cups here. So there could be, um, a feminine water energy, which is cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, could be a person here that you're stepping forward with. Um, this person doesn't have to be a female, can be a male as well. But this person is really working on their internal health, their own internal happiness, their self-awareness of what brings them fulfillment, self-awareness of how to say yes and how to say no, self-awareness of um, learning how to um, take actions in, in their own life. Um, to bring in fulfillment in the heart, love within the heart. Um, so while there might not be a whole lot of um, external changes in their real environment, in their world around them, they are learning to really kind of dig deep within themselves and um, be more self-aware about what brings love to them, what is love to them, what is a beautiful relationship to them, what is a job or a career that really brings fulfillment and love into their space? Really digging deep to, to really um, learn what brings joy and happiness um, and fulfillment into their heart center. So this is a help, um, improving the health of the heart chakra is what this person is focused on. Um, it could be you or it could be another person. Um, but, but I, for many of you, I feel like this is you, but again, um, you can, take these energies and apply them into your own, into your own world. If it fits, like don't force it to fit and don't, um, I would, wouldn't create something that's not there at all. Um, but again, you can also use this energy to begin manifesting this in your, in your world as well. So use this reading as it benefits you, um, um, as you work and journey. And we do have the 10 of pentacles here. Um, and what's happening is, um, we do have the five of cups underneath the 10 of pentacles. So whatever you're doing, it is for the right reasons. My friends, it is for, um, stability and comfort in your, in your third dimensional environment. It is for your long-term, um, health. It's for your legacy. It's for your family. It's for who you are, um, within a community. It is about your financial health. It's about your um, financial future. Um, and But you do have this feeling of sadness around this, uh, Virgo. So there is a feeling of sadness that comes around this. So you could have lost, um, lost a family member. You could have made some mistakes in your past. You could have had someone who has um, affected um, your own safety and security and you're working through um, those remaining um, memories or those remaining emotions um, that could have um, be connected with who you who you are as a person, who your family is, what your legacy is. There's something here. There's a shadow, or there is some pain um, around your home, or your property, or your money. Um, you could have lost some money. You could have lost some property. Um, you could have some losses with your comfort or your financial wealth um, because we do have some emotional pain around this. But again, I don't see that it's stopping you. I don't see that it's affecting you in a third dimensional way because we have the six of cups um, and the six. I mean, we have the six of wands, which is a powerful forward moving energy. So you're really stepping into this into the sadness and you're accepting that it's there. 
You know that it's there. You know that it's connected with your long-term well-being, your comfort, um, your security in your future, the legacy of who you are, the family, um, the roots um, that you have planted, um, your generations might have in the land. Um, whatever this Ten of Pentacles is, it is sort of shadowed or it moves along with this, this sadness that you feel here. Um, but you're not stopping. You're continuing moving forward and you're having a lot of compassion and patience um, for this situation. And you're staying focused on what brings you the, the most internal health. And you are seeing indications of real improvement here. You are seeing indications of real improvement. So let's look at what you're going to be stepping into in the next um, in the next seven to ten days or the next immediate time or the next immediate time. So I'm going to move this over here and let's see what you're stepping into here. You have the hermit energy coming out. That's you, Virgo. So you're definitely here taking action um, in your future. Four of Cups is here, the sun and the Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful. So it is a very simple, um, you're, you're really learning how to remove the complexity from this. Um, you have the hermit energy and the hermit energy, that's you, Virgo, but it looks like you've been um, in the recent past in a deep reflective place where you've learned something significant about your journey or about yourself. Um, you have dug deep into who you are, who your community is, who your family is, and you have found some realizations here that have allowed you to move forward in, in your space in a different way. Some new enlightenment, some new understanding of who you are. You come forward as a beacon of light for others now, as a master liver, a master teacher. Um, someone, someone, you could be a teacher, you could be um, um, whatever you are. This is, this is how I'm going to say it. Whatever you are and whatever you do in life, you are beginning to walk forward now as a teacher in some way or another, even if it's just walking your walk. And in that walk, you inspire others. You, you lead by your example. However that is for you, Virgo, you are shining your light now for others, maybe in a way that you aren't even aware of or that you don't actually intend to do, but it is um, a light and it is an inspiration for others. And you have changed your walk. Um, I do feel like the, the cane... Um, I am connected in with this cane, this staff. Um, you are um, very much in tune with your spiritual team now and coming out of this um, time of isolation, knowing that you're not walking alone, you're walking with a team, whatever that is for you, whether that is your um, source energy, your religious system, your spiritual team, um, it, whether it is the power of the earth, the power of Father Sky or Mother Earth, uh, whatever it is for you, you're, you realize now that you are not walking alone and you are walking in tandem and in unison with some other higher power or other force that you're leaning on. You're trusting it. You're trusting it. Um, and you're coming out in a very learned and enlightened way into this, into this experience that we have here um, for you. We have the Four of Cups energy. And when I connected in with the Four of Cups energy, um, it gave me a moment of, like, I forgot everything else. I, I had that feeling as I stepped into the Four of Cups. Remember, I'm, an, I'm a powerful empath. That's how I work. Um, I've learned how to really take um, a, an energy that used to leave me quite depleted and unhealthy. I've used to really move it into a powerhouse for myself. And that's how um, many of the times I, I am accurate when I do my readings um, because I've learned how to like become, make it be a, a, a superpower for me. And so when I step into the Four of Cups, I, I just was kind of forgot everything. I forgot everything. Like I forgot the whole reading. I forgot what I did. And now it's coming back to me. And, and as I step into the Four of Cups again, I forgot again. I honestly, I'm going to have to look at these energies. Oh yeah, I remember. So whatever this new situation is for you, um, whatever it is for you, it's, it's having you, um, it's, it's kind of in a way a distraction or it, it kind of takes you off your, it, 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 it's like it, the wind of it, the power of it, this new opportunity here that comes in for you, 
Um, it almost like puts you back on your heels. The wind of it, it comes at you and you might not be able to, how can I even describe how I feel? You might not be able to, and your thoughts might not be able to encompass all of it because we get, we have the sun energy that's here. So um, this guidance that's coming out is saying what's going to be happening to you in the future, what could be happening to you now, Virgo, is going to be something that you might not be expecting. It might distract you. It might put you back on your heels, like the force of it. You might kind of flounder a little bit and have to grab hold of something, grab hold of a chair or grab grab hold of a table or grab hold of the arm of the person next to you um, because it's going to push you back a little bit, the force of it, um, the force of it. See, what you're seeing here, um, what you're seeing here is are opportunities that um, you're not sure about, you're, you're thinking about them, they don't really resonate with you all that much, um, you're looking for wealth, you're looking for stability, you're looking to um, bring health and vitality to your legacy, to your family, um, to, to your wealth, your long-term successful future, and none of the opportunities here are really um, calling at you so that you can take action. You're needing to feel that passion. You're needing to feel that vitality within you. And there is this other opportunity that just kind of arrives. Um, and, it, and it could be surprising for you um, is, is the energy that, I, that I'm getting here. It could be surprising because it, it, it takes you out of where you are and it reframes everything for you so that this Four of Cups is, I have to clarify this, this is, well, it's next to the sun. It's a huge surprise. It's a huge opportunity that comes in for you, Virgo. It's a huge, it's whatever it is, it's a piece of powerful news. Or it is a, it is a powerful opportunity or an abundant new start. Uh, maybe you um, went to the doctors and they said you had um, some sort of a mass you know, you had some sort of um, um, irregular um, image or something um, on on something within an organ or something, and they did some tests, and you got um, word that they're all benign or there's there's nothing to worry about. Could be that energy too. It could be an energy of. Um, it could be an, and I'm not saying no. I'm not saying if you are having that particular case that. Um, that that would be a that would be a completely different reading. I'm just giving examples here, so um, don't take this is a human example that I'm coming up with in my own mind. So um, I just want to give some examples about how this um, this powerful energy is going, going to come in. It's going to take you for, by surprise because you're not going to see it, and it's going to be super powerful. It could be that you have these three job offers that you've been looking at, and maybe these different companies or their different different situations are excited about you and are offering something to you. Or maybe you have a three different people here that are excited about you as a person, as someone they could be in a relationship with. But you're not seeing what you're you're not seeing that fulfillment in these opportunities. You're not seeing that passion in these opportunities. And you're looking at them and you're trying to figure out what you're going to do and you're and you're knowing you you need to move forward now. You have this new um, realization, you have this new way of thinking, you have this new um, lifestyle or this new enlightenment that you're stepping out in, and you need to start engaging in this in, in some kind of a way. And all of a sudden, there's something unexpected that comes in here, whether you think of this yourself, because some of you could be thinking, because look, her hand is on her head, and she's thinking. So it could be an idea that you come up with yourself, that is something that you can really run with. It makes you very excited. It could be another job offer that just comes out of nowhere and it makes you very excited. So there's something here that you either come up with by yourself or it is opens up to you through other people. Um, and, and it's just a surprise, but it brings in this amazing new opportunity for you. Amazing energy of healing, of, of optimism, of abundance. Of, of a beautiful um, promise of a new future here with the sun energy. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, which is this energy of um, stable, long-term, um, secure movement forward. 
So whatever this is that comes in here, um, as you're in this energy of trying to decide what you're going to do and nothing seems just quite right, um, there is something that happens, whether you think of it yourself or it comes towards you um, from someone else, it brings you a powerful new realization, powerful optimism, healing, abundance, joy, happiness. But along with it comes this, this very stable, very strong energy um, of, of improvement of financial picture, improvement of money, improvement of um, wealth and security and comfort in the 3D. Um, look how it comes in with a coin, with a coin here. It comes in with a coin. And look at this powerful horse. It looks to me, I don't know how you say the name of the horse, but doesn't this look like, um, I think you, you spell it F-R-I-E-S-E-N, a type of a horse. How do you say that? Frisian? Frisian horse? I, it looks like a, a draft horse or a workhorse or a very strong horse here. I don't know why this is coming out at me. This is so interesting. Um, I am an animal lover. I am from a farm. Um, but still, there is something here. There's the power, the stability, the, the workhorse kind of energy here that comes forward with this new um, beautiful with this new beautiful offer that just comes in, whether you think of it or not. So I don't want, so why, what I'm being careful about the Four of Cups is that um, sometimes we have this idea that we just can sit and wait. And I know that we do need to be patient and we do need to have an energy of attracting what's in our vortex. Um, I have manifested in this energy quite a bit in my experience, um, but, but sometimes we have to take action. Sometimes we have to think we ourselves work with our own systems within us, with our own guide and with our own spiritual teams to come up with ideas. Um, and not always do we wait for things to be given to us or to be, um, to be open to us. Sometimes it takes an act of participation of us stepping forward at the exact right time or getting an idea at a, such a surprising moment. Maybe you're driving in the car. Maybe you're going to the store to get groceries and all of a sudden an incredible idea comes to you out of nowhere and you say, and you stop the car and you pull to the side of the road and you get your phone out and re you record the idea into your phone and say, I cannot forget about this. Or you're in the shower. So many times ideas and um, new thoughts and, and guidance from our spiritual teams comes from us while we're in the shower. Okay, don't worry. They only see the color of the brightness of your light. Okay, they don't see your body. They don't see what you're doing, but they see the brightness of the light within you. And they connect with that. Many times when we're showering, when we're cleaning our bodies, we are removing the old energy that is around us, that water from the shower, the water from the river, however we clean ourselves, whether it's from the river, from the ocean, from the shower, from the bathtub, wherever we are cleaning ourselves, that water wipes away the old energy. And as we wipe away the old energy, as we clean our skin, wash our hair, um, our light within us can be bright and healing. And it's in those moments that we can get the most powerful thoughts the most powerful ideas, you might be wet and you might be stepping out of the shower saying, where is my pencil? Where is my pen? Where is my phone? I have to record this. I cannot forget this because sometimes we're in the shower and we get this idea. I don't know why I'm stuck with this, but this is important to somebody. We get this idea and by the time we're out of the shower, we have our clothes on and we're on the way to work. We can forget what the idea is. Write it down, folks. Write down these ideas. Write down these um, bright light moments that pop into your head because oftentimes that can be guidance. Those can be ideas from our spiritual teams that give us um, ideas when we're at the most healed place in the shower, cleaning ourselves, allowing the old energy to be swept away from us. Um, so that's the guidance that's coming out because what's ever here is something very powerful, very strong. It's that workhorse kind of energy here, um, this warrior kind of energy with this um the soldier here who is in full armor and um, with passion here with this red passion color, right? Red passion color on his clothes. And he is coming forward in such a powerful, secure way. This is a long-term, powerful, stable energy. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. So take that idea, work on it, enjoy the passion from it, enjoy the offer that comes to you, however it comes to you. Right, because it's something that's powerful and it's going to move you forward in your journey. Let's look at the true guidance that came out for this. Let's look at the guidance that came out for this. 
We have the Knight of Wands, passionate movement forward. We have the Three of Wands, optimism. And we have the Five of Swords, moving through some kind of edginess here. All right, so nothing ever comes without some sort of sacrifice. Doesn't it seem to be the case? That's okay. When we have the Knight of Wands energy in, in the Virgo energy, this is passion, right? This is fire. Virgo, you're much more, you're much more um, excited. You're much more comfortable with this very Virgo type energy with the Knight of Pentacles, right? You're much more comfortable. The guidance here is to allow the fire to really um, take hold within your heart, within your passion center, uh, move forward, take action right away. Remember, Sagittarius energy, this Knight of Wands energy is a fast moving, short burst of energy, short burst of fire. It doesn't last a long time. So take advantage. When you get the idea, when you get the offer, move quickly, do whatever you need quickly. Um, it's not a long-term energy. Um, it, whether it's jumping out of the shower and writing so down something very quickly and recording it, that's Knight of Wands, right? Um, Knight of Wands could also be seeing someone um, that you know in the community that has a lot of connections and just having that 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 passion within you to introduce yourself and say, my name is Joe, I work with software, and I have this great idea, would you like to hear it? You know, something like that. It's stepping out in a different way to do something very quick and in very quick, intense bursts of energy. Use those intense bursts of energy to step through new doorways because this is actually going to be a long-term um, new beginning for you that's going to be stable. It's going to bring you abundance. And they're saying be optimistic. Allow yourself to see a new future. Um, it might take a little while to have happen, but we see your ships out here in the future. You can see them in the harbor here. I know the lighting is different now when I move it up to the camera. You can see the ships out in the harbor there, and those ships have cargo. They have resources. They have ideas. There's people there. There are new futures that those ships bring in. Um, you're standing at the banks of a new experience here. So be patient, be positive, be optimistic. See how these energies are very much the same here. The lighting is very much the same. So um, this is about passion, passion of the heart, um, not allowing um, the ego, not allowing other people, not allowing selfishness, selfishness of other people, um, conflicts of other people, not allowing um, yourself to be stopped by some kind of potential conflict that you know that will be there for you. Um, because it does look like as you move into this new reality, there is some sort of um, change that you will have to make that you might feel is selfish. You might feel yourself that you could be selfish energy. Um, this is about doing something now for your own self, for your own financial stability. And it's important to remember that the people around you that are wanting something from you, that are that will possibly be in conflict with you. Um, they are wanting something from you. Um, look at yourself to see what is actually selfish. Are you really truly being selfish by this change, or are other people being selfish? Because who's who's paying your bills, my friends? Who is putting food on your table? Who is paying for your mortgage or for your rent? Who's doing that? Are these people doing that for you? No. You are. You're clothing yourself. You're feeding yourself. You're taking care of your family. Know what is healthy, what are healthy moves to make. Don't allow other people to influence you in ways that diminish you, ways that keep you burdened, ways that keep you in stagnancy or in poverty. Um, people can be selfish. So there is guidance here to really look clearly at what is selfishness and what is healthy movements forward. Because sometimes when we move forward into new frontiers, we do have this very strange feeling of obligation. We feel like we could be hurting others. We feel like people could be disappointed in us. And sometimes those kind of moves are necessary to be made because people around us can be selfish. People around us are oftentimes look for their own agendas, for their own selves, and they fail to see what kind of struggle that you have been through. They fail to see where you are. They fail to know how much money you have in the bank. Perhaps they're wanting you to keep sacrificing yourself for a cause that they believe in, but you're not getting some type of equal return. 
and you have been giving and giving of yourself, but your bank account is empty, you feel like you're floundering financially, right? This is about moving forward in your own space now for your own self so that at the end of this journey and at in your retirement, in the, in the days when you can enjoy life, that you have some kind of secure base, that you have a foundation, that you have security in your money, in your health, and in any kind of emergencies that you need. And this is moving forward in passion to gain that type of security for yourself. All right, Virgo, um, this has been quite the story. Um, it's passionate. It's beautiful. It, of course, always has an edge to it. But as we move into new frontiers, as we become the true warriors of who we are, we can step through conflict because we know what's on the other side. And there's optimism here. There is um, powerful thinking. There's intentional action. And there is a fueling of the fire that is within you that helps you move forward into this new, into this new beautiful beginning for yourself, Virgo. Um, so with that, I'm going to take a little bit of a break here and then I'm going to dig into the extended. I'm going to go deeper into some of these energies. Um, let me, let me, um, determine now what energies I'm going to dig into. It's kind of easier if I'm going to do that and I might as well do that with you. We're looking at the future. So let me look at, let me look at where you are now and I'm going to pull out the six of wands and the 10 of pentacles to see what new energy you're moving into. Um, where you're headed here and see more about what this new financial future is for you. So I'm going to dig into those two energies um, for the current or for the future energy. I am going to dig into the sun. Um, I'm going to see what else we can find about this surprise energy that comes in here. Um, and I think for the guidance, I dug pretty deep into that. So I, I'm, I'm confident that I, the guidance is full and complete. So I'm not going to go into any of those energies, uh, but I am going to look at what is this new, um, powerful momentum that you're in and what is this? See if we can get more information on the 10 of pentacles. And then I'm going to look at this knight of pentacles energy, the sun energy and the four of cups. Um, after I'm done with that, I'll look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are. So I'm just, the extended reading is going to be going down rabbit holes, going deep into these energies to see what we can pull out here. That's what I mean about rabbit holes, going deep, investigating something very deeply. And so I'm going to take a break now, um, ground myself again, and then use a different kind of skill um, to go deep into these energies. All right. Thank you very much, Virgo. It is always a pleasure. Um, to work with you. You are a beautiful group of individuals, and I wish you all the very, very best. Thank you all very much, my beautiful friends.